Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a problem which is based on the realization of tire filters but in Z domain. Now the topic name is structure realization of LTI discrete time system but in Z domain. Basically we are going to design a different types of filters but by using a given question. So first of all we will study the question number one. A problem one obtain the direct form 1 and direct form 2 a realization of a system which is described by the differential equation is given y of n minus 3 by 4 y of n minus 1 plus 1 by y of n minus 2 equal to x of n plus half of x of n minus 1 now what we want basically direct form 1 and direct form 2 directly you can obtain or you can get by using a transfer function which means first of all we have to obtain the transfer function how to get the transfer function just simply apply z transform on both these sides so that you will get the y of z and x of z on both the sides and just take y of z and x of z common and you will get the answer in transfer function so first of all what is our m we have to obtain a direct form one direct form two and you can obtain both these thing by achieving or by representing the equation in form of transfer function and how to get the transfer function just it is nothing but the ratio of z transform of output to the z transform of input which means we have to take y of z common from left hand side and x of z common from right hand side and once we got the ratio of y of z and x of z so right hand side equation is nothing but the transfer function of a system so simply first of all we will apply z transform on both these sides y of n z transform is represented by y of z minus 3 by 4 is constant now here the y of n is delayed or shifted by minus 1 then in z transform just place the same value or shifted value in the power of z and then take the z transform y of n that is y of z now do the same thing for next values also Take y of z common from left hand side and x of z common from right hand side. Now you have got the equation y of z into 1 minus 3 by 4 z inverse plus 1 by z to the power minus 2 and on right hand side we have x of z into 1 plus half of z inverse. Now what we want for to get the transfer function first of all we have to take the ratio of y of z by x of z or you can say we have to write the equation it is necessary to write the equation in the form of y of z by x of z. So what is remaining on the right hand side we have 1 plus half of z inverse and this whole part will be shifted on right hand side. And now we will use a direct form 1 and direct form 2 once I have got the equation in form of transfer function. Now just compare this h of z equation with the standard h of z equation to get the values or to get the structures of direct form 1 and direct form 2. Now this is our h of z equation. Now just compare. I am comparing this equation with the standard equation and the standard equation transfer function is given as So just do one thing compare a numerator z coefficients. So here the b0 value is 1 and next one is b1 value is half similarly here a1 value is minus 3 by 4 and at the end we have a2 value which is 1 by 8 now 
if you know the structure or df1 structure then just you have to place this all a and b values on it now we are going to plot a df1 structure so this is our df1 structure now here on the right hand side we will always place the value of a and on left hand side we will always place the values of b now in first block this is in his equation or b0 and next value is b1 which means we have only a one delay because b0 which is multiplied with x of z only but here we have a1 and a2 which means we have to add a two delays that's why i have added z inverse and z inverse in the series so that at the end here you will get a total delay which is z to the power minus 2 now this is the place of b0 that's why i have placed a b0 value which is one inside this triangle now the b1 value is half so place over here now the next thing on the right hand side we will always write a values with a negative sign now this a1 is already having a negative value so total result is a plus a 3 by 4 and here the a2 value is y 1 by 8 so we will write a minus of 1 by 8 this is how we are going to plot a direct form 1 structure now we will plot a direct form 2 structure but in direct form 2 structure we require a less amount of memory element here the total memory elements are 3 but over there in df2 format we require only a 2 memory element how to draw the df2 structure i'll show you now on right hand side we will always place the values of all the b's whereas on the left hand side we will place the values of a but here whatever values of a we are going to place we have to multiply it by a minus sign also now here the first block on the right hand side gives us the values of, or shows us the values of b0 and here the b0 value is 1 so i'll place 1 over here now in the second block here this is the place of value b1 and here the b1 value is half so i'll place half over here now next this first block or first buffer values is showing or giving us a values of a but here the a value is already having a minus sign and here we will always place a value of a by multiplying with the minus sign so minus of minus 3 by 4 is answer plus 3 by 4 here the a2 value is 1 by 8 so after multiplying it by minus sign we will get minus of 1 by 8 and this is how we are going to plot a df2 structure now as i told you earlier df2 structure requires only two memory elements so compare this df2 structure with df1 so you can easily understand df2 structure is little bit less complex compared to df1 now we will study a similar numericals in next coming videos also. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.